agent set me for the role of drunk homeless Uncle Joe. <laughs> and you know what the worst thing about it was? Is that I got the part. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> the, the worst part, actually, about dating an older guy was my friends. They were so mean. They used to call him Moses. <laughs> I swear. And the worst thing is they called me a gold digger. I was so mad. I was like, I'm not with it for the money. I swear to God, I'm with it for the free prescription drugs. <laughs> and the handicap parking. <laughs> Somebody's applauding my efforts. Um, you know, it, it, Something happened with him. He actually, and I know you're gonna like turn on him around. He actually cheated on me. Ooh. I know. <laughs> with an older lady. Oh. I know. I know. And then I was like, oh my god, if I wanted him back, how can I compete with someone who can take her teeth out? <laughs> Welcome to my life. Some <laughs> younger guys have no tact, okay? I, I dated this younger guy, and he asked me my age, and I told him my real age, and he was like, dude, <laughs> you're old enough to be my mom. <laughs> uh, I know, I was so upset, let me tell you, I came this close to not sleeping with him. <laughs> You know, because yeah, we're right. They're like more. So every time, like he would see me, he would be like, uh, "Grace, your top is too tight," or like, "Grace, that skirt is too short," or "Grace, get off my father." <laughs> <laughs> I went on Zeus because I'm like, okay, number one, yay. Okay, these are some of the like the screen names of the guys. Pimp shit. <laughs> I know, jaded monkey. <laughs> That's not the worst part. Okay, these are some of the first messages that these guys sent me on my inbox, okay? Like, hey, I like your boobs. Hey, I want to bend you over and spank you. I know. Hey, I want to split you in half with my gigantic manhood. <laughs> I have a problem with that. I have a problem. My problem is, how do I know they're really sincere? <laughs> he's cute, he's a doctor, I'm broke, I need medical care, wow. So I'm like, okay, he writes a message to me and he goes, hey, you're very beautiful, I'm looking for the right one. And he spelled right, W-R-I-T-E. <laughs> I know. So I was trying desperately to connect with him, right? So I wrote him back and I'm like, hey, I want to give you some sex. And I spelled sex STD. <laughs> so now we're engaged. I wish. When you're dating, as you get older, the pool narrows, and like the dating pool. So I feel like my choices nowadays are like, a guy that dresses bad, has no money, no job, no teeth, and drives a Ford Fiesta. Or a guy that dresses bad, has no job, no money, no teeth, and drives a Ford Focus. <laughs> the future is not looking very bright, are you feel me? Because porn has completely ruined my sex life. Okay? You have all these young women doing like Cirque du Soleil tricks. I can't compete with that. I didn't expect you to do that. Okay, so if there's anybody here in the porn industry, I have a proposal for you. Okay. Let's have some porn with, okay, this is what we need, porn people. We need more arthritic women in porn. <laughs>